Hello job students, thanks for tuning in. This is a workout brief for Thursday, October 15th. The workout is EMOM 25, so every minute on the minute for 25 minutes. For minute one, we have five windmills to each side. Minute two, we have 20 alternating single arm swings, so that's a new one, a little fancy. Minute three, 20 lateral lunges. Minute four, 20 Russian twists. Minute five, is complete rest. All right, so some of us will be able to bust through these a little quick. For a lot of us, these reps will take a lot of the minute. That's why we have a full minute of rest for minute number five. All right, cool. Let's go over windmills. So with a windmill, you can use a dumbbell or kettlebell. I'm going to use a dumbbell, to, or excuse me, a kettlebell to demonstrate today. Pretty much get it overhead any way you can. So you can do a clean and then jerk, or you can do a snatch and go straight overhead. I'm going to show you a snatch real quick. So, snatch, hold the weight overhead, and because it's in my right hand, I'm going to get my feet shoulder width apart, point my toes about 45 degrees to the left. Now what I'm going to do, I like to coach palm facing forward. Some coaches coach this way, but I like to coach this way because it helps keep my shoulder open. All right, so my shoulder's open, I'm hinging like this, I'm gonna get down to my ankle, I'm gonna stand up and look straight. Okay, don't lose your balance. Keep your toes pointed to the left, come down, come up. There's two, there's three. I look at it on the way down, and I look straight at the top, all right? Then you hit the other side, same thing. Feet about shoulder width apart, Toes pointed about 45 degrees away from the bell, hinging at the hips, come down, stand up. Hinging at the hips, come down, stand up. So, I am hinging at my hips, but I'm also kind of hinging to the side. It's a different type of hinging movement, but it is still a hinge. Try to think of moving at the hips as you go down to the side. So you'll do five windmills each arm. Minute two, 20 single arm alternating swings. It's going to be 20 total, so 10 each arm in the end. So for example, it'll look like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Pretty fun one. So you'll do 20 total. With a kettlebell, I use a horizontal handle the whole time. When it's weightless at the top is when I do my switch. If you're doing this with a dumbbell, I recommend going vertical grip instead of horizontal grip, all right? So for example, one, two, three, four, five. So when it's weightless is when you do that transition. All right. You could do a horizontal grip with a with a dumbbell. It's just a little bit easier as far as technique goes to just go side to side. That won't really work as well with a kettlebell. With a kettlebell, you want to do a horizontal grip. All right. So that's for the single arm swings. Next minute, you have 20 lateral lunges. So you have a whole minute, but try to go through these fast. So here's how I would want you to do the lateral lunges. One, and then. Mistake should stay on the screen here. Two, three, four, five, six. Try to bang out the 20 fast for those lateral lunges. And then 20 Russian twists, 20 twists total. Russian twists, pretty straightforward. Keep your eye on the bell here. 20 total, 10 each side. So for these exercises, with the windmills, it's five each side. But for everything else, it's total reps. So for the swings, 20 total swings, 20 total lunges, 20 total Russian twists. Only with the windmills is a five each side, okay? All right, it's gonna be a good fun recovery day. Make sure you stretch for 15 minutes after this workout as well. Make sure you get your stretching in. All right, Jousters, work hard, have fun.